Hey friend, in today's watercolor tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching how to paint this beginner gradient sunset of Joshua Tree National Park in California. Without further ado, let's get painting. I'm gonna be using Cadium Yellow, Venetian Red, Rose, Purple, and Black by Windsor Newton. And the paint brushes I'm gonna be using are size 16, size six, size two, round Princeton brush. And the artwork I'm working with today is a size five by seven inches. To get started, I'm just gonna take my large size 16 brush and I am just going to saturate the whole page with water. And if you have a sponge brush on hand, that will work perfectly fine for getting the water wash incorporated throughout the whole page. And the page I'm using here is a size five by seven inches. Okay, to get started, I want to apply my yellow first and I am just going to do about, I would say up until about halfway of the painting, I'm going to incorporate this nice yellow here. After I add the yellow, I'm gonna go ahead and use our Venetian red, which is almost like a rust terracotta color. And it's gonna give the sunset this kind of earthy tone um, that's very kind of deserty, <laughs> if that's a word. So really like this color. I'm just bringing it slightly upward, just like so. Next, I'm gonna take some rose and I will bring the rose all the way up to the top of the painting. And as you can see, I'm using the belly of my brush just to go left to right I'm gonna go ahead and drag the rose all the way to the bottom here. Before I add any purple, I just wanna relayer a touch more of yellow. And I'm just going to continue this motion and I'll bring that all the way to the top. And then last but not least, I want some purple. And I'm not going to be mixing the purple much into the orange area, but more so in the top third. All right. And then I just want to incorporate a touch more of the rose color just in the transition between the purple and the orange. And then I will just drag it all the way down. Okay, I am just gonna let this beautiful gradation of the sunset dry. And when we come back, we will add in our Joshua Tree silhouettes. Now that my painting is dry, I am just gonna take my size 16 brush and just do the silhouette of the desert floor in just a very loose, irregular fashion. I'm just doing some just abstract, jagged kind of hilltops here with lots of texture. And then from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and color in this area just all black. And it may take maybe two layers to get a nice deep saturation of the black. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch gears to my size six brush. And using my size six brush, I wanna lay out the trunks of our Joshua trees. And the technique for the Joshua trees is quite repetitive. Um, and it starts out with doing a vertical line, just like so. And I'm just gonna widen it slightly. So I'm just allowing a little bit more pressure using the tip of my size six brush here. And I'm just going down just like so. From here, I'm just gonna do a few angled 
brush strokes connecting to the base of this trunk. So I've got this kind of um, unique shape, just jagged angled branch here. From there, I just wanna do another smaller branch stemming off of this branch here. Next, I'm gonna do a slightly curved angled branch, just like so. And then from here, I'm gonna do another just topsy-turvy whimsical branch off towards the right that kind of goes towards pointing towards the left corner of the page. So you really can't go wrong with Joshua trees because they are very irregularly shaped and whimsical and that's something that I really enjoy um, painting because they're just loose and when you go into the park, if you've ever been to Joshua Tree, you'll be amazed at how um, unique the Joshua Trees are. Maybe this little branch is pointed downward. And maybe this one has just a tiny little branch coming off of it. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna continue to lay out a couple more Joshua trees. And this one, maybe it's a little bit smaller and a little bit more off into the distance. So this one's just gonna be slightly daintier. And maybe it's a little bit of a younger Joshua tree, so it's only got a couple of branches, just like so. And then my larger Joshua tree is going to be partially in view and it's gonna be off towards the right a little bit and it's gonna be taller and just a bit thicker than the two previous Joshua trees. So I'm just increasing the width of this trunk going up and down in a vertical motion to fill it in. From here, I want to slowly start to build our branches so this branch, kind of similar to the first one we started with, the first initial Joshua tree is going off towards the left. Maybe it's got a couple kind of arms fanning out. From here, I'll do another branch coming off of it that's slightly taller. Maybe there's a little branch off towards the right. Really just getting creative with this layout here. Maybe there's a branch that's cut off that's going towards the right. This one here is just kind of tucked inward slightly. And again, feel free to overlap as much as you want. I'm gonna do another branch that's pointed downward. Kind of at a funky angle there. And last but not least, I'll just do one more branch that's kind of weaved through this gap. All right, and last but not least, we are going to add some finer details and texture to our Joshua trees. So I'm gonna switch gears to our size two brush. And using the size two brush, I'm just gonna give the end of each one of our branches here kind of a subtle oval shape. And again, it's not a really beefy, large oval. It's more subtle, but it's definitely got kind of like an orb-like shape at the end of each one. And I'm just gonna continue to add these oval shapes 
at the end of each of these branches. Something to note is that some of the branches can have like more than one of the ovals on them. Maybe there's like just a little bit uh, more foliage on one more than the other. So I'm just going to go in and just add a few more um, just layered. And they can be partially in view. For the last step of our technique here, I'm going to use really fine light pressure with my hand using the tip of our size 2 brush. And I'm going to add just a little bit of a toothy um, loose texture on the branches and on either side of our trunks here. And all I'm doing is just lightly tapping right on the edge just to give a little bit of texture to our trees. And I'm going to do this on all of the branches on both the top and bottom side. And aside from adding that texture to the branches and the trunk, I'm also going to do these really loose needle-like textures on each of our orbs. And I'm going to basically just do these little spikes coming out on either side, the left and right side, and towards the top of each orb. And at the top of each orb, I'm kind of elongating a slight point um, with these little needles on each one. So you can see it's kind of got almost like the silhouette of a pine cone shape to it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and add these little dash marks on each of these ovals elongating the point and then also adding the texture to the tree trunk and the branches throughout each Joshua tree.
Thank you for joining me for today's Watercolor Sunset Joshua Tree National Park tutorial. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any further watercolor tutorials. And be sure to check me out on Instagram at Kendra Van Druff and post your work so I can see your painting.